Hi guys. I don't know, but my Hello. beautiful face is covered up. I and I fixed it. I, I fixed mean, it. it looks even prettier covered. So yeah, I like it. Hi guys, you know. welcome back. Also, welcome a new person. Wait, this way. That way. Look, it's Peachy Pixel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, uh, you should hit the follow button. Cool. Well, that's four resubs. Thanks. Four out of five. Oh, snap. Okay, so we got a lot to cover real quick before we jump into all the things. So first of all, thank you guys for the resubs. I'm going to intro what the heck this is, and then I'll let Sheepy dive more into the details. But we're doing a different um, player and in, uh, viewer interaction this time around. There's very specific things. As you notice on the overlay, there are five strange looking gray tokens. Those are the terror track tokens. Um, in a very brief explanation, I will go into that in just a second. But the fate is still the same command, so exclamation point fate. It'll give you the link to the new roll table, um, which has the donation slash tip and bit breakdown, and then what the uh, correlating effects are. And there's also other information correlated to that, like the supply drop and all this other stuff. So because we're playing a horror survival type variant of Warhammer today, um, we, I wanted to kind of give you guys an alternative approach to it and Sheepy had some great suggestions, so that's what we're doing. Um, the terror track specifically, there is five token spots. Every single time the terror track increases, a token is revealed and then Sheepy does what Sheepy does and tries to murder us and continues to do so for the next five tokens. When we hit the sixth token, which yes, there is six through ten as well, additional effects will begin to happen and we will most likely die several times. And there's lots of characters we can go through, so it's fine. No big deal. Um, but yeah, there's there's up to 10 tokens that we can get for this. So, um... Basically end our suffering. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's, pr it's pretty, uh, yeah. How could this happen to me? me? It wasn't my fault. Um, she be kill me. Right. So, shooty pew pew. Um, let's introduce our cast. Uh, let's start with Sheepy. Hi, Sheepy. How's it going? Hello. I'm good, thank you. How are you? You know, looking forward yeah. to the slaughter. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I. Uh, hi guys. I'm Sheepdog. Uh, Peachy. Go. Oh God. Peachy, who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? <laughs> wow, Sheepy, you really suck at this. Hey guys, I'm Peachy Pixelate. You can find me on Twitch.tv forward slash Peachy Pixelate. And oh, 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 would you look at that merch? My shirt shipped. Did I tell you? No way! I bought, I bought a exclusive Peachy Pixelate shirt and I am excited to wear it. Exclusive. You hear that? Part of the exclusive club on Twitch.tv forward slash Peachy Pixelate. Only people people who like to eat. I like to eat. You can you That's can post your links in chat if you guys want. Um, Merch links. <laughs> purge. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bam. <laughs> um, all right. Awesome. Uh, McLokin. Hi. That's great. I'm McLokin. <laughs> God damn it, guys. How are you today? All right. I'm, wait, wow. <laughs> I'm trying to give my intro, and I'm just being rudely interrupted. Someone's chugging an energy drink and just is all jittery and ready to go. Uh, yeah, you guys. Uh, my name is McLogan. I am a super part-time D&D broadcaster. Uh, my show I run is on Mixer on Wednesdays. That's it for me. I'm going to be on season two of the World Tree Birds uh, and Encounter Roleplay. Um, go watch The King's Hustle on Thursday nights. I'm not on it, but Meta runs it, and it's fantastic. And she writes for a City of Mist, so it's awesome. Thanks. That was totally not just about you. Um, Fandy! I, I'm, I'm a considerate lover. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Candy, and mommy and daddy are fighting again. <laughs> and I don't know what. The... <laughs> um, God, I am so tired. Hi, guys, I'm Vandy. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash omgvandy. You can also find me on uh, Encounter Roleplay on Mondays. I play in Dragon Heist Waterdeep. Uh, and on Table Story on Sundays. 
So yeah, if you want to check out more RP stuff or art stuff, you can just yeah. follow me or don't. <laughs> you know, I just I just want to make friends, man. Don't we I just all? Make friends. Don't we? Uh, I mean. I think we do. Maybe not Sheepy. But so. uh, Sheepy doesn't want to. <laughs> Whoa! What? 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 Do you know how difficult it was to make a friend out of Sheepdog and now I can't get rid of him? I regret. <laughs> I feel like it was no. really easy for me. Oh my when, God. When, when PG first came into my stream, I sent an assassin after him. I can't call him back. I don't know where he is. He's still out there somewhere. Probably lost. I, I can't. Like, Sheepy has told me repeatedly, we're not friends. And I'm just I like... Have, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, I hate, like, I, every day I send you a message when you wake up, like, I hate like, you. Hey, just so you know, I fucking <laughs> hate you. Like, and I'm just like, cool, great. I, you know, there's my good morning text. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Hope you don't wake up to get this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Of course. Uh, Hippie, please. Hi, my name is Crazy Hippie69. I'm a variety caster on Twitch. Uh, I stream every day on my own channel. Um, I, I'm also wearing merch, so I'll join the sellout game. Fuck you, Petrie! Buy my wolf. It's not mine. <laughs> it's a nice shirt, though, so I'll probably go see if you can find one. Yeah, I, I'll find out where where they got it. Yeah, that's a good one. They uh, got it from merch.com slash Peachy Pixel 8. Definitely. Yeah, that's that's where you find this wolf. <laughs> it I looks like a skull. Just just put that up there, Peachy. Just put, put the the wolf shirt up just so they can. <laughs> uh, it was a bait and switch. Yeah, bait and switch. Good one. But yeah, um, I currently don't have another DD channel. Uh, I'm here on Fridays until this is not on Fridays until next year. Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry about it's not fine. having someone it on else, Fridays. Someone me. Yeah. Um, someone else will find me. Yeah. All right. Get out of my my yeah. original group will get their shit together. Yeah, like punch them in the face or the nuts, whichever you I'm think is more motivational. Let's just start a new group. Yeah, he's like too tall to punch someone in the nuts. I feel like it, like the reach dynamics are like he'd have to like super undercut. Like, how oh, tall do you tall. think I am? I think you're like enormous, dude. <laughs> I think you're like seven foot. <laughs> wow. That's I literally crazy. think that like hippie think, is think, a fucking giant. Like, I think I'm a little bit taller than hippie. How tall are you, McLoughlin? Wait, what? Five, no, you're shorter than me. We met. I remember being taller than you, but then again, were you taller than me? How tall are you? I wearing I, lifts. I actually don't even remember meeting you, McLoughlin. Ooh. Have we met? Ooh. Oh, this <laughs> no, is so awkward. So it's not even. That. It's literally because Do I can't. Are you? I have really well, bad a good show. memory because of my, my sleep depression. We stayed at the same hotel at TwitchCon. I saw you every goddamn day. Jesus Christ. Okay, wow. but I didn't know you at TwitchCon. Hippie's got some big dick energy, <laughs> I... and, like, McLoken can't even fucking go near him. Like, holy shit. I, I'm pretty sure, like, I followed your channel, but I don't think I actually knew you at TwitchCon. I don't think I said hi to you at TwitchCon. Yeah, we talked. You were in the lobby. I walked up to you. Okay. You were reading the book. Listen, I will, oh, I will it say something. Oh, probably into my book. <laughs> I will say something about Hippie. This is a traditional behavior of his because he was completely... Remember when I talked to you about joining the game for Dark Heresy for the first time? And I was like, yeah, I know you. I host your channel. And you're like, what? <laughs> And so it was. Um... No, so <laughs> the, I remember you host my channel because it was literally the day before. And I was like, oh, Metamancer, I feel like I should know you. <laughs> yeah. And that's then what you said, said. yeah. And then he was like, oh, fuck. And then literally <laughs> the next day, I had to go say hi to her to her face. And be like, well, shit. Uh, I feel bad because I was like, I don't remember who you are, even though we literally talked an hour before. <laughs> 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 I remember I remember when we were like, hey, who should we get on the when Meta and I were talking about the Dark Heresy campaign and I was like, who can get on the show? And I was like, there is uh there's one person I suggested you because we talked about Warhammer a lot at TwitchCon. <laughs> I <And> feel so, <laughs> holy shit. Wow. Uh, we may I'm have gonna... so two issues is A, really bad memory. B, if I'm in the middle of a book, I don't remember shit. Holy fuck, I cannot wait for TwitchCon and all the people that Hippie's gonna forget. Oh, yeah. oh it's gonna be great. Like, I'm gonna meet Hippie at TwitchCon. 
and he's not going to remember me. Vandy, no, Vandy, you're unforgettable. Shut All up, right? okay? No, don't do not do this. Don't, like, flatter me, okay? Listen, you're the first to go. I'm going to throw you under the bus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I was just saying it because, like, I was going to be really rude, but I can't. I can't be rude to Vandy. She's, unless she's being Miria. Then I can be rude to Miria. I can't it's be rude true. to That's true. Lazarus hates Miria. Doesn't hate, but, like... Mm. Ah. I mean, I've saved your life. I've I've tried to begrudgingly. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to, oh, God, I guess I have to save her because or else we have no medic. Like, no, 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 no. If it was to save you because of medic, I'd leave you. I'd leave you dead. I'd save you because you're a tech priest. <laughs> you know what? This has I been mean, nice, I, you guys. Think, I'm just gonna. I think that's the best you're gonna get. Yeah, I think yeah. I think it might be. <laughs> I, th I think I think that's a good place to start. Um, again, if you guys want to know anything about the system or anything else, just comment in chat. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you're shit out of luck. Go find a YouTube video that explains something about Warhammer. <clears throat> um, How do you play? Right. What's Warhammer? What? Or just converse with Crazy Happy for like three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'll forget who you are, it. but he'll tell you all about I mean, Warhammer. <laughs> I literally just bought two more Dark Heresy, uh, 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 Horse Heresy books, so I won't recognize you because I'll re be reading. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Photographic 40 and 30k memory faces. I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> I'm your wife! Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope I we got married. I'd be really. Yeah. Right. Actually, that. Oh, I have, a, I have a funny story for later. It's, it's not important. Okay. Yeah. Could you do tattoos like that movie just Did to make sure? Oh, yeah. What is that? Independence Day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <What>? that's it. <laughs> that's the one. Is that, Deep, right? Psychological <laughs> thriller. <laughs> can we can we just end the stream there on that? I don't know. Moment? Movies, like, am I wrong? <laughs> yeah. You mean the alien yeah. one with Will Smith, Independence Day? Welcome oh. to Earth. <laughs> Isn't it like a day? Like, but it's like a day, right? It's oh, it's Groundhog. Day. Uh, what's my name? <laughs> it's Groundhog. Day. It's listen. It okay, not, it, was, it is Memento. You are talking about Memento. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about Memento. What about Groundhog oh, Day? Oh, Groundhog Day is with um Bill Murray when he lives the yeah, same day. That's a comedy. I thought that's that's a comedy. Oh yeah. my god, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Vandy. Okay, Vandy, I what? have a new proposition. Oh my At god. At TwitchCon, I'm gonna sit you down and we're gonna watch some fucking movies. I don't watch You don't know who she is! You'll <laughs> <laughs> be sitting I with don't... her and be like, wait, who are you? <laughs> like, <laughs> Why are you here? I'm watching a movie. Oh. <laughs> I No, man. I watch TV shows. Like, I've gone through all of Netflix, man. But, like... All of Netflix? Are... You've watched all the Bollywood movies? I, you know what? I actually have dipped my toe into some of the Bollywood movies. They're not oh, bad. Dope. I well, quite they're, like they're them. Bollywood movies. They're very, they're very artistic. Like I quite like them. Oh no, I prefer the Bollywood action movies. They're crazy. I love them. Oh, those are yeah. <laughs> you can practically see the lines like where they're being held up to do like flying kicks and shit. Anyways, we should we should actually play. Hey, if you guys want to know what's like hurting cats, welcome. Meow. <laughs> yes. So, um, you guys can affect uh, the, for example, the drops uh, in the supply caches that the players will find. Uh, you can add plus 10 or minus 10 to the rolls. Uh, when you get down to the minuses, like minus 20 and things like that, there are traps and hallucinogens and things like that that the players can find. When you go all the way up to the top, uh, you will find things like ogrins and displacer shields and power swords. So you can really affect like what the players will get and you can actually massively screw them over. In terms of the terror track, um, I'm going. We're going to be starting off fairly light with the with the uh, horror. Um, if you uh, if you guys up the terror track, that is when the terror starts. Um, it will start it before my plans start. So uh, keep that in mind. 
with every terror track increase, uh, I up the danger and the uh, horror and the likelihood of death. So basically increasing the uh, terror track will mean that the players are in even more danger and will die even sooner. Um, I think that's all for the... Yeah, there you go. So um, there is one other thing, which is that the players have um, abilities. Each player has a an ability that they can pull off to kind of get them out of sticky situations. Um, they have a limited use of them, uh, but you can. I'm not sure if it's in the role in the uh, bit effect, but yeah, you you can uh, affect that as well. Uh, aside from that, yeah, that that seems to be about it. Okay, well, why don't you uh, take us into, set, set our scene for us, kind of get us into the intro. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, you, ladies and gentlemen, are a kind of mashed together PDF Imperial Guard unit that has been set down on this planet uh, a couple of months ago to guard a some form of science facility. Um, you've been kind of kicking your heels a bit. There's not really much for you to do except for look after the scientists and the boffins and the tech priests uh, while they do their work, occasionally going out on patrol and uh, finding pretty much nothing. Uh, the planet is mostly uninhabited. There's a very light um, nomadic set of peoples who wander around but you don't see them very often and they don't particularly seem to be very dangerous uh on this particular day let me just pull up the name list there we go on this particular day uh commissar cerberus is it cerberus or how, how's that pronounced yeah cerberus so commissar cerberus the emperor's been... watchdog yes uh <laughs> Real dog of the military, jeez. <laughs> uh, he, he has been tasked to put together a squad uh, to go and investigate some disappearances, some reports of uh, enemy activity. Um, it just, it's it's all garbled. It's not, it doesn't really, you know, there's nothing concrete, but you're basically going out on patrol to investigate some kind of funky business. Uh, with them is uh, heavy gunner Linda Lindworm Ignatius, uh, played by Vandy. Oh, hello there. Uh, who is uh, a uh, going out with her heavy flamer? Oh, oh, this is just my child. You know, like he just brought him up from uh, when he was. She's a got a heavy flamer. Yeah. Everything in front of us is dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't don't be afraid of him. He's actually quite nice, you know. So um, we just we like to go for walks together. Uh, then we have uh, Rattling Sniper and Scout uh, Korax, who is played by uh, Crazy Hippie. There he is. A man of uh, a, a rattling of few words. Uh, we also have uh, Medic and a uh, friend to all, probably, who knows, uh, Beatus, who's played by McLogan. Ah. Hey. Uh, finally, we have Sergeant Olga, um, who is, are we canoning that Sergeant Olga is sister to Maria? Da, ja, droga, sister. Yes. Maria. So. Uh, who is obviously played by Metamancer. And we're going to come down with you guys. You've been out on patrol for about an hour. Um, you're deep into the jungle now, uh, well away from the uh, facility you've been protecting. And uh, you haven't seen any signs of anything yet, but I would imagine that um, that you've got kind of, you know, your scout out up front, etc. I'll, I'll let you guys deal with the details. Did we just get dropped here? No, uh, the, the jungle's the jungle's like properly thick. So, yeah, but so uh, Lehman Russ is so true, true. But th this I isn't. Mean, have you seen that ass? <laughs> <laughs> the, this isn't like a, a heavily supplied base. This this is you know kind of uh, out on the frontier, um, 
kind of kind of place. So like you do have um, some APCs and stuff back at the base, but for th for this patrol, you just walk it out into the deep jungle, see what you can find. Right. Okay. Sergeant. Da. I want this mini base. I want it cleared. And I look over to Linda, Lin Lindwin. It's uh, it's Linda. Ah uh, yes, Linda, clear. About four hundred by four hundred meters. Go. Давай, давай, Linda, come on. Давай. Oh, oh, oh all right. Um, um, you just want me to like fire it up? Da, or... da. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like holding my my heavy flamer and I'm just like just like okay baby you gotta gotta do some work now we're gonna go to school okay and I'm like gonna hitch it and just go like just wipe the whole thing that's that's yeah just gonna wipe it all is that all right yes well, I have no idea what you're saying but you have a nice accent, lady. Spasiba. <laughs> I, I have no idea how to converse with this. <laughs> oh, come I'm sorry, just uh, really um, can't communicate with someone. <laughs> now, Commissar, uh, is, is this all right, Commissar? Why are you talking to me? Do your job. I, I, well, I did. This is... Medic? Yeah. Is your name again? Coral Thorax? Just call me Doc. Yes. That'd be easier. Less syllables. Or you can call me Beatus. You can call me Beatus. I don't care. You can call me either one, but you know. Oh, I like that name. Beatus. Beatus, yeah. Beatus? Beatus. Can we just agree on a name? I'd call him Doc. Really? No, we're all calling him the same name. Understand? Beatus, everyone for Beatus, say I. Oh, I. You are like Beatus. Doc. Okay. Doc's daughter. <laughs> well, what's your character's name? I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, Korax. Um, Korax, what do you do? Uh, I'm a rattling, so I shoot things from a distance, and I'm really good at cooking. I'm gonna take out a ration, season it with something I've pulled out of my pocket, and eat it. Oh. <laughs> you oh. just put lint on a turkey and ate it. What? I, I wouldn't trust his cooking. You know, I have lots of experience cooking for my big family, um, and my, my little baby here. He just eats up so much. Listen, uh, if you're gonna be cooking with with a heavy flavor of the petroleum, it's going to ruin the flavor of anything you're putting in it. Let's be real here. No, you, no, you I, I don't think it. that's true. You know, I think it adds a nice flavor. If you're trying to kill someone who's eating it, yeah, sure. Yeah, oh, toxic. Absolutely. The worst. I would promise you. I'm sorry. I'll cook you up a real good meal. Seasoned, uh, fried, whatever you need on it. It's going to be amazing. Guardsman. If I tell it to you, you will eat shit. Do you understand? I'll season it first. I don't care how you eat it. Are you fast? Uh, I mean, fast enough, yeah. Okay, give me a recon. Back here. Five minutes. That's all you get. Right then. And, uh, I'll just run off. <laughs> I'm going to shake my head. <laughs> From a distance. <sighs> so, um... <clears throat> Let's get our first roll of the session, uh, which will be from Korax, and it will be a. Let's get a uh, let's get a survival roll to start off with. Starting off great. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, it's, uh, no, it's not too bad. Uh, and let's get a an uh, awareness roll as well, please. Even better. <laughs> okay. okay. We're living up to our names. <laughs> so, uh, okay. you... Can I re-roll either one of those? Uh, I'll, 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 allow, I'll allow a re-roll of one. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll read all the so, other because I'm more worried well, about that one. I'll, I'll let you know what the, what they are, kind of. Uh, the survival roll is uh, for tracking, uh, kind of like looking in the area for mm -hmm. things that you might be able to find. Uh, awareness is like what's going on around you, like if there's yeah. anything around I'm more worried about self-preservation than anything else. That is completely understandable. <laughs> Wow, nope, exact same role. Literally, literally, how is that even possible? Well, you got a 68. How? No, yeah. Your your aim was a 55. Yeah. You guys you guys aren't in Dark Heresy anymore. <laughs> well, even in Dark Heresy, my warriors is even worse, actually. So Yeah. <laughs> um, so you you wander around the, the jungle. Um you get you get a feeling. Like there's something out here, but it's j like you shake it, you shake it off pretty quickly. Is just you know paranoia. You know what else shakes really good? Shock shaker. I'm gonna season up another uh, ration and eat it. <laughs> um. So you spend about five minutes out. Uh. Do you stay out longer than the five minutes or? Yeah, I'm eating, and I'm gonna just gonna like climb in a tree and stare in a direction while I'm eating a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um. So, after you're done, you come back to the to the camp. You haven't seen anything. Uh, there is a vague sense of unease at this point, uh, mm. but nothing, you know, overt. Right, come on, nothing nice though. Um, had a little snacky uh, while I was out. Hope you don't mind. Did I ask you to flavor your report? What did you see? Uh, some trees. Uh, maybe a little bit of swampy out there. Um, yeah. A rock. Oh, a, a really nice rock. Moss on the on the west side. So, you know, the sun's coming up from there. Got all you needed. No structures. Nah. No people. Nah, I would assume people don't live in a forest, but or a swamp. I lived in a forest for forty-two years. Jungle. That sounds awful. A jungle. I said jungle, not forest. I assume they were the same thing. I haven't seen trees much myself, really. Right. So nothing around. Sergeant, have you reported back our status? The base. Uh, Corex? Huh? Numb. Numb? Well, I got some food for you. Just da, da, da. Da, da. All right, then. So he's in front of the ration and give it to him. Oh, well, honey, <laughs> I wouldn't trust his food. Now, listen here, you big flaming whatever you are. Well, I don't. I never. I bet you couldn't tell a casserole from a can of beans. I bet you I could because I turned the beans into a casserole. Oh, in, instead. I and uh, just apologies for not making this clear earlier. You do have other troops with you, kind of standard Imperial Guard, PDF. It's not just- Oh, okay, I thought we were a strike team. Um, no, it's it's more of a like a 20 man patrol. So I just realized I hadn't made, I hadn't said that out loud. So in my I head- I had actually like, assumed it. So, yeah, because otherwise, how are we reinforcing ourselves? Good like? thing you had that name generator up. Because, <laughs> uh, Beatus is going around looking at people, making sure that no one's got swamp foot. Uh, roll me a Medicaid. Any modifiers? Nope. I, uh, fuck it. No. Everyone it's has 69. like Six. jungle fever. Yeah. Everyone has jungle fever. They they all come down with a horrible case of that, wrong oh, wrong oh, thing. Yeah. Sheepy jungle fever is not the same thing. <laughs> yeah. That is. I've seen enough black exploitation movies to know that it's not the same thing. <laughs> no. Every everyone's got ju jungle fever right now. Everyone's got jungle fever. Что это jungle fever? Well, can you treat it? Oh, uh, not me, honey. I I I don't. I'm gonna roll Medicaid again and see if I can cure it. Uh, we just got a one a tier one sub from this heretic. This heretic, feel free to either apply a crit success or failure to any player or to sheepy. He succeeded. Oh shit! Oh my god! 
Are you curing jungle fever right now? <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, explain how you treat jungle fever. Uh, um, well, uh, as it dawns on me what jungle fever is, um, I look at the troops that are, say they're experiencing jungle fever, mm. uh, and then I would look at, um, I imagine uh, uh, Lana and uh, uh, Myrtle. Linda. <laughs> no, Lana. 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 These are, these are uh, random people. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And I'd be like, okay, okay, you guys, you're the only cure for jungle fever. Sorry, are you are you talking I'm talking to them, to them okay. yeah. The two ladies that I mentioned. Well, what's what's jungle fever? Well, it's it's basically how do I explain this, right? Um they have a fever that can only be broken by coitus. Well what's what's coitus? That's where uh um you stick your hoo ha in uh, the ding dong and gather. Um, do, you, you know, do you know what the Necromunda shuffle is? <laughs> Are you trying to get laid out here? They they said they had jungle fear. I was looking for swamp foot, but they, you know that's that's what they said. So. I'm sorry. Are you a doctor? Yeah, I'm your medic. Who? Where? Where did you? Graduate? Necromunda College. He can't hear my Necromunda accent. Sure, yes, no, it's it's very clear. Um Well, I'll tell you, how about you cure their jungle fever? I can't. <laughs> Is jungle fever fatal? Uh well, no. I mean, it can lead to a good case of the old blue bowls, eh? Oh yeah, that that is that is very possible. Is it going to impair their work? It impairs mine. Uh, well, they can self-medicate, and that will straighten out their heads. Right, guardsmen, I want a perimeter. Split up two teams. Keep me apprised. Stay on radio. All right. Are you are you intending to set up some form of um of you know? Base of operations here. Uh, I'll I'll tell you in character what I'm doing. Right. Okay. You see this patch of land. This is home. This is safe. You I live here. Scorpion. You die here. Do you understand? Welcome uh, home. My home's on fire. A little bit yes, of arcade. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is how I like my home. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I'm so, so glad you like this patch of land. Well, you're going to love it too. Where's my land? Maybe oh, I already land. do. Right, uh, Sergeant. Maps. Maps. Carta. What? What? That's a map. He's a maps. Carta. <sighs> yes, maps. She she grabs like different. <laughs> information and it starts to lay them down on like the one rudimentary type table that's been set up. She basically flipped over a log and just like put the stuff there. Uh, I'm, the... I'm educated to a high degree, right? Um, so I would be able to find the Latin root cartography carta map. Yeah. No, I, I, I basically know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Right, where is our position? What to hear? Right. Jungle. What? I'm gonna draw a big circle and write fire. Mm-hmm. What I'm uh she's like trailing her finger down and like basically going by where you guys were coming from and the trail that you took in to get to where the base is. <clears throat> right. Base will now be known as Fire Pit. Clear? Fire oh I love that name. Fire Pit. Okay. Fire pit. Okay. That. What are we here to do, sheepdog? I've completely forgotten. Um, you are here to find... in investigate reports of some disappearances. A couple of squads have gone missing. Um, and yeah, just there's there's been reports of something out in the jungle. Okay. Can I look over this map 
and see uh, if there was some kind of enemy group here. Looking at this map and the topography, could I be able to tell maybe somewhere that looks particularly defensible that they might set up or be? Uh, yes. This is an Archeal roll. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's have a look here. Uh, I don't so... have Archeal on my sheet, sorry. Oh, sorry. I have it um, on my sheet. <laughs> so this would be... I'm actually going to give you that because of your um, back stuff. Uh, so this would be a common law war. Uh, which, if you look at your sheet, it's on the right side, uh, kind of the down. Uh, if you hit huh? that skull, it should give you a roll. Uh, just submit it? Yeah. So, um, you kind of, you, you mark out a few locations that um, are tactically insignificant, but you think the enemy could be uh, located in. Um, obviously, seeing as you felt the role you don't, you know, as a player, you won't know how accurate that is, but uh, your character thinks that's accurate. Um, you also, uh, you have had, you, ha you have had uh, reports of one of the areas where one of the uh, squads went missing, which is um, maybe like a 20 minute uh, trek through the jungle from here. Does that mean, McLaughlin, does that mean 20 clicks? Uh, I forgot how long a click is. I think Clicks, a, click... a click is a kilometer. Yeah. Yeah. And how fast do guardsmen travel when not being hounded? Regular uh, human speed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when rounded, they fast. run like cheetahs. <laughs> you can shoot the sergeant, we go a little faster. Yeah. Shoot the sergeant. <laughs> 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 it's the only one that's been fucking useful. Well, I guess fire. Firewoman has. I, I, I killed. I cured jungle fever. You cured <laughs> jungle fever. Ten you shot dead, buddy. <laughs> hey, I cooked. I, I I made a good meal. Yes, yeah. Sergeant would be hungry right now if it wasn't for me. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to call over um, uh, one of the I, so I split the guardsmen into teams of five. I'm going to call one over. Okay. One of the groups over. Guardsmen, defend this with your life. You understand. I sir. Good. Right. You five with me. Team, us. let's go. I you suggest. Oh, he's talking to us, baby. And I'm like holding my my flamer like a big, a big baby. Just like cooing at it. You know, any other man would be really, really jealous of that flamethrower. I'm a little terrified, not gonna lie. Oh, he's harmless. You just gotta treat him with a lot of respect and feed him. No, I meant I go ahead, it's about to, to bear. What, what do you feed a flamethrower? Oh, you know, well, per whatever gets in its way. Prometheum, mainly flammable liquids. Oh, it's, it's not, not terror, it's purity. That's a treat. We're, we're purifying the forest. Uh, where are we going? Right. Uh, who's got the best eyes? I look around, my optic flashes a bit. Uh, <clears throat> I do. I do. Hi. Rattling right here. <laughs> it's kind of a specialty. That's why they always give us sniper rifles. I yes. I so it's tiny and you can fit in little crawl spaces. Call me tiny again, please. How big are you? Are you smaller than the gun that I'm holding? Rattlings are the halflings of 40k. Okay, so they are smaller than these guns. <laughs> well, Rattling's about three and a half, four feet tall. So I'm are sorry. they smaller than the the heavy flamer? Yeah, uh, kind probably of about the same size. Cool, 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 cool. Well, no. So because it's not a Stardis heavy flamer, mm. I probably if you're la if you're standing at end to end, I'm probably a few inches taller. Yeah. Okay, so about the same size. That's fine. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you want me to say vertically challenged? I'd like you to call me Kovax or even Rattling would just be better than anything of like they just really Corvax or Rattling, okay. Wait, Height like... means nothing in this Emperor's army. If you can kill them, you're good. Exactly. You see, I'm I mean I'm here because you know I'll kill real good. Yeah, I, I do. I, I just keep people alive as I kill people. Also wanted skill. Still not 
sure how we're supposed to follow a sergeant though, Kamasa, seeing how we can't understand her. No, no. Why do we jump to that? It is some noise. Yeah, not it. Yeah, no, I'm just going to keep assuming exactly. you want food, so... <laughs> I think she's telling us to just follow where she's going and... Da, 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 Linda. Da? No, that's Linda. You're... I, yeah, you're so I'm, I'm Linda. Da, я я понимаю. Ты... Linda. Da, ты хорошо. Ты понимаешь меня, да? I think she's telling me that I'm smart. Da, хорошо. You know, I, I had a housekeeper once who spoke kind of her language, and I think I just have the hang of it now. No, no, she's one of them rich folk. <laughs> do, do you know on the way here, uh, Sergeant was just listening to elevator music and just jamming out, and it was really weird. <laughs> I believe it's pronounced Muzak. Oh, Muzak. Musica. Yes. Musica. Do, 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 do. That's it. Ты можешь Оша говорить э дискотека? Музыка. Дискотека. So, I'm assuming you guys are saying this as you're walking, otherwise Yeah, yeah we're, 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 okay. uh, I, we're going towards the um where we found where the reports were, right? Uh the reports of the uh, the the mark that you put down or the reports of the lost squad? Uh, the Lost Squad, seems as what I marked down didn't seem terribly defensive. Yeah. Um, so, about 10 minutes in, um, is it? Yeah, Corax, you start getting that uneasy feeling a bit stronger. So, let's take a, again, with survival and awareness uh, rolls. Oh, from, from me? Yes. Which one first? Uh, either first. Uh, they they go together. Okay, we'll do awareness. Nope, absolutely not. Man, that cooking smells real good, don't it? <laughs> you distracted, said... distracted by a cooked chicken smell coming from one of your pockets. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> you uh, said survival as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> real good hey. cooking though. Hey, you go. <laughs> Um, you pick up the tracks of the, uh, of the Imperial Guard squad. Uh, you could, you know, because, you know, you, you've seen in, in the Imperial Guard march in and, and this kind of thing. So, uh, they issue boot, boot prints if I've ever seen them. They kind of verge off to the side slightly from where you're going. Right then, uh, Come saw there's some footprints here that lead off in that direction over there. Um, also, I've managed to cook up a real nice chicken, if you're wanting some. Uh, it is in my pocket, so mind the lint, but it's good. No. Right, what kind of footprints? Uh, looks like standard issue size 10 in pure guard boot. Jack boots. Right. Okay, follow this trail. Sergeant, I want you up front and center. Bye-bye. Ijom. Where's John? Let's go. I'll join you up there, Sergeant. Хорошо. <clears throat> I'm going to brush some lint off the chicken leg. It's already eating it. Uh, so, so go ahead. as as you're following the footprints, uh, they they start to get um, less organized. And they actually veer off again uh, in a different direction, and uh, one of them even like splits off and goes a different way. But the majority keep going. Right. Uh, so, Commissar, looks like there may have been a bit of a scuffle here. Uh, the size ten's going that way, and looks like a few others are going this way. There's a whole bunch of roundabout going on, and uh, yeah, also a world of chicken. It's not standard guard marching procedure. Let me have a look. I, I want to I get down and see. Was there like a, a fight here or did someone just wander off? Okay. Uh, give me a... What would be best for this? Probably a uh, scrutiny. Oh, I miss Arkham. Olga is going to also attempt to deduce something, but... She's okay. just doing it to look like she's doing something. So I'm just going to roll scrutiny to see if she knows anything from it. All right. 
yeah, if, if any of you other guys want to get down and uh, get gritty with... She's just, uh, like, kneeled down and is like, hmm. hmm. Oh, no, not me. I don't like <laughs> no. to get dirty. Uh, I'm going to look for blood, but I'm just going to look on around because they're talking about battles and stuff, so I'm just looking. That'll be awareness, yeah. Awareness? Okay. I'll do that's acrobatics. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, you can do some backflips, but I'm not sure that would help the situation. <laughs> Is this a jungle fever, these backflips? Ah, really? <laughs> can you, uh, you please stop wow. stepping on footprints, please? It's kind of the only way we're going to track these people. Yeah, the the rest of the squad is, like, wandering around, missing footprints, kicking them, you know, kicking dirt over the... Ruining room. everything. Yeah. Sergeant, that's a rock with moss on it. It's not going to lead us anywhere, really. Oh. Yeah. Do any of these guardsmen make it back? Um, are there any footprints going the opposite direction? No, they they appear at this point to either be running to or from something. Right. Uh, no. Size so tens wandered off and hasn't returned, and the rest of them have not returned either. Either probably fleeing from something because it's a jungle, uh, or they're, they're guardsmen. They don't flee. I've seen many guardsmen flee. Really, uh -huh, so. uh -huh. I've seen one. I assume you shot him. Well, um, of course. Star, if ever, <laughs> if ever there are any of our guardsmen who flee, I'd be happy to deal with them and give them a stern scolding. I think he's Lasgun, does he? That was a pun. That uh, was a good uh, pun. <laughs> as he says Lasgun, I, I sort of um, pull my hands out of my pocket. I've got like a complete, as I roll up my sleeve, I've got a complete robotic arm. And, and it glints off, and you can see that my entire jaw has been replaced as well. Uh, optics. Um, I've still got scotch marks on my uh, dust, duster. What are they called? I forgot what they're called. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the... There's a name for them. I can't remember. Uh, and I pull out this uh, bolter. Lasgun. Right. That's not how you execute. Well, I mean, that's a lot quicker. <laughs> to certain. I've seen some lasburns burn for a while. Well, sometimes you don't want them to scream. Put the men down. Right. It's right. <laughs> Guardsmen do not flee. Something happened. I want to know where every single one of these people are, but we're going to follow the bulk. Can you follow these trails? I mean, I certainly can, yeah. It's what I would do. What about size 10? Are you going to just ignore him? Guardsmen! I call the, far, the five guardsmen. Uh, wait, uh, did you bring the... I left, I left five at the base and I brought five with us. Okay, um, did we just get a $20 tip? Um, so, I'm assuming that counts as a advance on the terror track as well? Um... It's, I'm going to let Chumley figure out if he wants to change anything uh, okay. from the roll table with that 20, and then we'll come back to it. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because if, if, if it advances the uh, the terror track, then things are going to go differently. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'll say for now it, uh, is you guys were... Did you, go, did you guys decide which tracks you were going to follow? Or? The group. We're going for the main group. Oh, with the, main the group, but I want to call over the the five guardsmen we brought with me first. Okay, uh, they they trot up um, pretty efficiently. Uh, they've been a bit more quiet, but still a bit of banter back and forth. Uh, they seem to all know each other, uh, and uh, the kind of leader of the group uh, salutes and says, "Order, sir." Right, size ten jackboots. You see them? I point out. I, I don't know where this guardsman is. We'll find him safe. Keep radio contact with base. We'll talk to Sergeant, yes? The uh, Sergeant doesn't understand me, sir. Yeah, I don't understand you. You understand me. She understands don't... you. You just can't understand her. Yeah. It, it's true. Right. She's really not that hard to understand. Yeah, what would she you. say? She said that she can understand you but they just can't understand her. Mm -hmm. It's all quite simple. Mm -hmm. Have you read the Gospels? Base root in Latin. 
Uh, well, you see, <laughs> I I'm never, never, yeah, never really learned. I'm going to pull out the gospel. I, I definitely, I've definitely got uh, a copy of what was it? The standard of Beauregard handbook. I think. I, no, no. Um, I actually have a gospel. I gave myself a gospel. Oh, nice. I'm going to give you a, a I'm going to give you um, an Imperium gospel anyway. I'm, I'm gonna like slap it against your chest. See this? It's all you'll ever need. Uh, this fire in your heart, and bullets in your gun. Well, actually, these are the bullets in my gun, and uh, I can't read this. <clears throat> you can't read? No, no, I can. I can read. Uh, I just can't read this. Um, it's quite simple. What language is this in? I don't know what the language of the gospel's in. Uh, it's probably High Gothic. Yeah. It's high Gothic. Yeah, no, can't can't read this in the slice. Uh, what I can do, though, is tear out each page before fire and use it as tinder for when we need to cook. I so grab the book off him <laughs> and I slam it around his head. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! It's not how we treat the gospel. Maybe, yeah, maybe you need to read it to him every night before it goes to bed. Right. Um, like a bedtime story. Right. See these pics? I give them um, yeah. a little <laughs> picture book. <book>. Yeah. <laughs> there. Maybe that'll sink in. Guardsmen, on your way. Keep oh, in radio contact. They've want, they've already uh, marched. Yeah, I'm them. shouting as they're walking away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you guys follow. By the way, you all have uh, crit successes. Chat is, for some reason, being really nice to you. Um you guys follow uh, the the main tracks, uh, so you have you uh, five and another five set of uh, guardsmen with you. Um, after about five minutes following the tracks, uh, let's get an awareness from everybody. I'm good at awareness. I'm really good at awareness. <laughs> oh, God. I am completely consumed by the well-being of my heavy flamer. I'm trying to figure out what these pictures mean and why they're not just naked. I have a feeling that we're going to have a lot of failures tonight and not a lot of yeah. successes. There's a lot of red in the chat right now. There's, uh, there's a whole lot of red in there. I've not played oh. uh, Dark Heresy before, but I assume that's bad. Yes. This one, uh, this is not worse good. Than good. <laughs> per se. How, how bad is seven degrees of failure? Really, really. Uh, you may as well just roll over. And... You probably start staring at the book, too. Everything's <laughs> happening over here. <laughs> and you're looking over there. Yeah, so you uh, ba basically, uh, Korax is uh, looking at the book, and you're helping him with the pictures. <laughs> so you both miss whatever it is that you were supposed to see. So However, if it's got a tick in it, does that mean I'm I've trained, in it? trained in it? Yeah. Because so it, didn't, it didn't roll that. It, uh... it did. It yeah. It's a straight oh, it zero. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, a straight you have no minuses. If you're not trained in it, it's a name. Gotcha. Right. If, if, yeah, so uh, your, if your perception is 35 and you're not trained in it, your target will be like 17. It's half what you... Yeah. Um, it's really bad. <laughs> so you guys stumble upon a, um, a little kind of tr trove of uh, abandoned equipment, which must have been thrown off by the guardsmen, uh, just there in that bush. So, uh, we will have, I think, three rolls on the supply cache uh, chart, with no modifiers. Let's go with uh, Cerberus, Commissar Cerberus. Uh, let's go with um, Sergeant Olga, and with Korax. So, roll me a 1d100, no modifiers. Also, uh, I don't have any items. Uh, do, do I have like standard Medicaid items? Yeah, yeah. You, you, okay, you know. I, I need to find those. <laughs> okay. What, what? I, I was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Okay. Fucking Ogrins. Okay. So, Perfect. uh... Who I, I can't see who did these roles. Uh, uh, first one is Cerberus. I did a fifty-five, and yeah. Meta hasn't rolled yet. Yeah, I haven't rolled yet. 
because I was. Yeah. Uh, do you want to explain what it says? Do you want to read it out? Uh, I'll I'll do them yeah. in in. Okay. So. Uh, uh, let's get uh, your roll yeah. meta. Okay, so we'll go in ascending order. Uh, Sergeant Olga, you uh, you kind of are rooting through, seeing what you can find that's useful. And, uh, well, it's a fuel drum for a drivable vehicle. Uh, now you can become a real moving target. Uh, unfortunately, you don't, you don't have any don't uh, vehicles have. here. So. Yeah, how you... Car. Car? No? Linda. The Vidish... Oh. The, the Vidish... The... Like a vehicle, is that what you're looking no, for? No, not a vehicle. I think oh. she said, we don't have a vehicle, That's... so use that fuel oh. to burn something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I'm happy to do that, absolutely. Those pics really are helping, aren't they? <laughs> no, I guessed. I totally... I'm sorry, I was so consumed with the well-being of my little baby here. I saw he got a scratch, so I was just making sure he was okay. But, um, hey, are that's... you okay to work now? Okay. It's really, really creepy, just saying. You know what? <sighs> I don't like the way you're talking to him. It's a him. Okay, whatever. Yeah. This so, little dangly bit proves that. So, um, <laughs> or in in a bizarre twist of fate, you have found rations. If you survive this, you won't die of hunger, although you might wish you did. Right then. <laughs> it's just a huge pack of chicken. And like chicken. lunch, and breakfast. You know, I could fry this, grill it, season it. We could do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, it's really only just chicken and maybe been sitting out for a little bit. It's still good. It's fine. It's just, do you was... think of anything other than food? Yeah, shooting things occasionally, but mainly food. I mean, what's Concentrate the on the shooting things. All right, but what if there's nothing to shoot? Catch well, then shoot the chicken. No, it's a way. I'll shoot it with my special mix of seasoning. I thought, I thought chickens were extinct, so this is amazing to me. Uh, and fi finally, thank you very much, Ichi, for this roll. Uh, holy crap, there's two Ogrins sleeping behind the box. Uh, the box has, has a case of Amasek, but who cares about that? Uh, you push uh, in a bit to the bushes, uh, to the kind of uh, foliage, and there are two massive sleeping Ogrins just chilling there. Oh. Okay, I, t I turn back to everyone else and I'm like... What? What have been quiet for? Two? Two? Yeah. Two? 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 part of the Imperium. Two? Two? Oh. Two? 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 What do... What? What are... They? Put that chicken in your mouth. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I call over the sergeant. Are they ours? I'm gonna go poke an ogre. Okay. I'm gonna wave a chicken. Hey! Are you alive? Uh, the one that you wave the chicken over kind of goes. <laughs> oh, uh, why, why, I'm a... why you look. Hey, big guy, how you doing? Uh, chicken! Chicken, yeah, hey, it's chicken! Chicken! Hey, God, I saw I found some ogrins! No, you found chicken, I found some ogrins. Yeah, what he said. Do you speak? Hey, boss. Uh, so uh, we must have. We, we were running and then we fell asleep. Uh, Are they uniformed? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Why, why were we running? Uh, yeah, uh, we were running because we were told to run. Who told you to run? Uh, Sarge. Sarge told us to run. Sarge, you were here? Not this sergeant, there, sergeant. There are more than one sergeants, beat us. I think it's almost feeding time, baby. That's really creepy. Your sergeant told you to run. Uh, yeah. We were being following fo orders. Followed by who? By the thing that was following us. Huh? Right. What was following? Big, what? small, loud. Yeah. Big, small, and loud. <laughs> Big, small, loud. Rustling, moving. Yeah. 
Dangerous? Uh, well, not to you. You're my friend. But yeah, in general, I am a bit. The things chasing you, were they dangerous? Did they attack you? Don't know. Didn't see it. Because you ran. Sarge said run. Your sergeant got size 10 jackboots. No. Yes. <laughs> it was a rhetorical question. How big is size 10? It's about this big. It's like he's never gone to oh, <laughs> Where's the rest of your unit? They said we should stay here and fight the thing, but the thing never came and we sat in a bush. Good. Brave. And, I like and that. We fell asleep. Yes, well, a life without action is pretty boring. I, I what? like. I like scratch my chin with my arm. Can you taste with that? Can I taste with what? My hand? No, your uh, disposition. It's just the jaw. Sar, so if you have I to... may. Yes, Linda. <laughs> um, <laughs> see, seeing as um, these two are cowards in the face of the Amber, uh, would you uh, would you like me to dispose of them? Cowards? Oh, I'm scared. not scared. Well, they ran, sir. They were following orders from their cowardice sergeant. We can't all have sergeants like ours. I nod. Yeah. What? Not understood in. I don't know. Oi, the why? Then you. You're not a government duck. Yes, shut up. So she said. <laughs> am I understanding you? Because I don't yeah, know you're if I am. And I feel man. like I am. Yeah, 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 I don't know, know how. how. You're like, totally. <laughs> I feel like I would do well in Russia. Telepathy. <laughs> well, we. We don't know how to get back, so uh, this is will yeah. This is Gunk, is is my fellow thing, and I'm Gunk. Both Gunk, Gunk, Gunk and Gunk? Gunk. Yeah, he said it different, so he's Gunk and I'm Gunk, and we'll know who, who's who. Gunk, Gunk and Gunk. Gunk. Okay, yeah. no Easy. Gunk Cut and show. Gunk. Oh, so you're Gunk and you're Gunk. No, I'm Gunk. Your gunk is gunk. And he's gunk. Can we he's just gunk. rename oh, his gunk? He's gunk. Yeah. I'm gonna put a name tag on him. Oh, where I, are we going? Oh, I did do a bake sale once. I could just make up some quick name tags. I don't think we need name tags. Right, gunk and gunk. Yeah. Which yeah. way did your fellow guardsman go? That way. He points away from the tracks. Right. If we just follow the tracks, so we would probably find them, really. Right. Okay. Simple, but effective. I'm going to get on the radio. Okay. Oh, I want to call the team that I sent off to look for the size tents. Okay. Uh, Godsman. Guardsman, it's your commissar. I expressly told them to stay and communicate us with us. Maybe the big scary monster got them. They're guardsmen. Guardsmen do not run away from scary monsters. Well, they died to the scary monsters. Yeah. They could have died to the scary monsters, which yeah. aren't scary. They just... Well, the Ogryn says he was scary. I didn't see him. Gunk, did you see him? No, I didn't see him. Right. You two with us. Form up at the rear. Do you have weapons? Do they have weapons? Yeah, they have, um... What the hell are those? <laughs> it's like the they're fucking like... Ogryn shredder guns? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fully automatic <laughs> shrapnel cannons. They're great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only things ogrids can't break. <laughs> Second thought, stand in front of us. <laughs> Those will be more useful if they're not ripping through the rest of the team. Which way are we going? Right. See this one? And I point towards Korax. Yeah. Korax! Uh, the, the little one. I'm not little. 
So Not that's little, your he is Korax. Yeah. Okay. Gunk and Gunk. Yeah, yeah. Korax. What? Korax. This is Korax. Oh, Me. I... Oh, yeah. Cracks. Close enough. Yeah, you go, guys. Not going to argue with an Ogrin, really. <laughs> it's not too. Follow the, the cracks. Right. Onward. Um, so with that lovely little scene <laughs> done, uh, you guys uh, carry on for uh, about three or four more minutes uh, before you come upon a scene of absolute desolation. There are body parts in the trees, in the bushes, there is blood literally everywhere. It appears to be about four guardsmen worth of limbs and body parts and blood. Oh, my. Well, uh... <clears throat> Tell us all we found um, one. My, my, my medical assessment and all this is uh, I think they're dead. Dead? Are you sure no, they are guardsmen? Sure. Roll me a Medicaid. <laughs> they got jungle fever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're probably, probably dead. They're probably dead. I mean... Are you, you don't, need, like the flame dude could assume they're dead? You need a second opinion. Well, I, I you think they're dead? I'm I'm just gonna lean down to them, just be like, baby, do you do you think they're dead? This one doesn't have a head. No head. Oh well, you don't know that. Uh, they could just have a disability. Roll, roll me an awareness, uh, Corax. <laughs> But um, I think fucking Christ! I'm never gonna wear and check ever. That, that <laughs> it might be dead. But in a worst case, we could just, you know, get rid of the bodies. That way, nothing else comes for them in this jungle. I'd be happy to do them the favor. Linda, you bring up a good point. Uh, I want to check. Uh, I just have a quick question. Um, what would I have like any sort of Medicaid thing to help me? With my Medicaid, you're a guardsman. <laughs> uh, you're a guardsman, so no. Okay, Jen, Jen you get a med kit. <laughs> I mean, if you're uh, lucky, uh, it's a honestly, a, a score of fifty-five to, to to hit for Medicaid is pretty good for a guardsman. So. Okay. In in all honesty, most guardsmen don't live through injuries because they die instantly. So, and if uh, they have a, like, if they have like a squad medic. If they don't die from their injuries, the medic usually kills them. Oh, he's doing his best. <laughs> from jungle fever. Can I check <laughs> these? Can I check these bodies? Uh, do any of them have uh, sergeant stripes? Uh, yes, there is. Yeah, uh, there's an arm in a tree which has sergeant stripes. Do any of them have rations or ammunition? No, no rations. They, like they have, they don't even have their weapons. Like those were thrown. Like, apparently thrown away. Right, I'm going to continue scavenging their corpses. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pick up the sergeant arm and, and use it as like uh, a conductor's wand. Right. Something killed these and they didn't get a chance to fight back. They must be avenged for a guardsman's right to fight back. It's inherent to a guardsman. I don't really think they chose to fight back, really. They see no guns, no ammo, no nothing, no foods, nothing. Guardsmen don't need guns to kill things. We've seen a guardsman at full tilt. When yes. I put them at full tilt, full tilt. No. They will rip off your arms with their teeth if I tell them to. Well, that that just seems... I mean, maybe the Ogrins. Well, they've got the guns. They're probably better. And I'm still, like, flapping this arm around. <laughs> there's there's blood, like, flips in, in the Ogrin's face. Doesn't notice. <laughs> So, so Commissar, am I, am I cleared to uh, dispose of the bodies? Fortunately not. This is now our bait. Everyone grab an arm, maybe a torso, something meaty. Oh, I, I don't know. Olga picks up the torso 
and like rips off the legs to get them out of the way. <laughs> You'd probably Whatever. have to uh, like saw them with your knife. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Whatever I'm body gonna... I'm at, I'm just gonna just gonna wrap my arms around it, start just dragging it. What <laughs> kind of uh, what can I tell? What killed them? Uh, roll me a. Let's take a scrutiny and a Medicaid from anyone who'd like to have, like investigate the. I'll do Medicaid again. Any pluses? Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm, we are very red. Oh, these Nine stories degrees. are not progressing. <laughs> I'd say get, I'd say get the bad rolls out of the way. But honestly, Imperial Guard, it's all bad rolls. So. <laughs> Jesus, you're in the guard. You already made the worst roll. <laughs> you're in the guard now. Uh, yeah, uh, them, them, them boys be fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stay be dead. It's, it's, it's your medical assessment. <laughs> this one's questionable. He's only missing a head. Mm. <laughs> if you find the head, it might still be alive. You never know. So you can't rule him out as dead yet. Yeah, yeah. Has anyone seen any heads? Well, that one's got a head. Any heads? No, any, no any visual. Hmm? Like How, severed heads? or like, I mean, you have a head, half of That's one. A- that's a point. But are their limbs and stuff severed or like ripped? Have they been like sliced or ripped? I guess that's I'll, what the doc I'll was looking for, right? Um, they they've been mangled quite heavily. It's like something ripped them apart. So okay, but in terms of severed or, or ripped, it's hard to tell. Hmm. So, uh, as you guys are, um, as you guys are uh, sorting through body parts and picking up your favorite piece, I guess. Um, I'm, uh, literally, the, the I'm one... literally picking up the smallest piece I can find, like a toe. I grab the one that literally was just decapitated, and I'm just dragging it with me. Uh, I mean, maybe whatever ate these people. This is the the, the parts they left behind, you know. And they didn't like these parts, so maybe this is bad bait. They've been eaten? Is that your medical opinion? Yes. <laughs> there they, is. They smell like they've been eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't think so. They ain't been seasoned or nothing. There are pieces Ooh. missing, but they might have just been flailed around. Uh, so yeah, as you guys are sorting through these body parts, there is an deafening explosion. Oh, man. And the sky goes dark, except for a glow. And then I will immediately roll and pull the corpse I was holding over my head. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get exterminatus already? We only just started, GP. What the and, hell? And, and <laughs> then there, there, is, there is a massive shaking of the earth, like something hit nearby. Everyone it, down! I'm cradling my my gun. Torso overhead. It's gonna be okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. I've I've literally just tucked into mud and corpse. <laughs> so as as you say everyone down. Yeah. Uh everyone like with a uh, only instincts that a guardsman could have, everyone rushes for cover. Uh as you get into cover, um Cerberus you kind of look back and see most of them have managed to get to cover. There's one guardsman still running, just about to get to a bush, and two hooks from the bush shoot out and land in his pectoral muscles and drag him into the undergrowth growth with him. Screaming. I immediately shoot him in the head. And let's take a break there. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, God! Alright, guys. Get... Get your five minute break on, get some water and stuff. We'll be back in just a short bit. Don't go anywhere.